And now for our feature presentation. What's up everybody, um, I am a part writer for our new TV show, um, created and um, founded by the Honorable Golden Lord, my homeboy. And we have here a new show that we have in the works, and we're going to give y'all a little bit of insight as to what we will be having on this show very, very soon. Uh, we may have other people involved, but at this moment, we're pretty much just starting like the beginning stages. Okay, so on the legendary Ronin TV show, um, we have some really dope animations. It's in the works, it's in the beginning stages, but we also have a, a inside look as to what the characters look like and what the characters, you know, appear as, as far as like their style, the kind of animation that we'll be having. Uh, the kind of scenes that you will see as an anime fan uh, on this show is pretty dope. It's a little bit of what you've seen in the past maybe, but it's a lot of new ideas being developed. This scene is showing uh, the fans out there what this TV show, what this anime really looks like visually as far as the back and forth with the wars and the fighting scenes. Um, as you can tell, um, it's a lot of things that's going on actually in this part. Um, but also it's it's very showing of of what is possible as far as like the movements and how they will be at war and, and the types of uh, action scenes that you will see. The Legendary Ronin is a new show and we wanted to give uh, future fans and people of fans of anime a chance to look at, you know, this new creative idea that we're coming up with. We have a team of people working with this uh, as well. Shout out to the animator uh, himself who, who has actually uh, created this this beta stage and um yeah he's uh he's pretty dope so I, I i really love his work and i'm ready for you guys to see more that we have in store because it's it's pretty it's pretty unique um right here um boom right there you can see um uh, one of the lead characters he's a samurai uh part of the japanese uh clan and uh he's a badass and he's uh he's new and unique so definitely want to watch out for this guy because he's going to play a big role in the tv show and what's to be seen and what's to be developed with people who are for him and against him and you'll see uh his heroism his bravery his skill set his gifting his vision his purpose uh develop over the story so we want to create suspense and we want to create action at the same time with the legendary ronin so you'll see in this TV show where we have nemesis, where we have enemies, where we have foes, all working together to come against the greatest samurai that you will ever see. There's some kind of weather. Wind, water, fire, smoke, snow. Oh, that's fire. Shit, One advantage crazy. of this approach is that shots have a lot of visual interest. We'd be so Even great to tell how still, we do this. That yeah, really could, because it's, it's art. Yeah. Yeah. We can take, you know what I mean, take images and really go real around. real emotional trigger that works in any film. That, that is so unmistakable. A Kurosawa film moves well, like no one else. Has Each one is a masterclass in different types of motion mm -hmm. with battle, and also like ways to the combine movement, it. How you capture the movement as yeah. it moves across the camera like. Over a career spanning half uh, a century, what I like the most he made is how they're films. using their shots. And in all of them, so the like, movement is surprising in, in, and semi. Like, look at that. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, look films, press the CC button below. Oh. The so, shot is so crazy. What types of movement did he like? Look at him. First, motion. there's the movement of nature. Look at that, look at that. In every one of his films, the background of the shot features some kind of weather. Wind, water, fire, smoke, snow. Oh, that's fire. He would often tell his actors to pick one gesture for their character and repeat it throughout the film. That way, the audience can quickly see who's who and how they're feeling. Wow. Mm, that's crazy. <laughs> Number four, movement of the camera. Three, the movement of individuals. One of my favorite things about Kurosawa is that his blocking is unrealistic and exaggerated. What I like most about anime and Japanese films is the intensity the actors use to 
to project their feeling, the, what, what what they're trying to project mm. to to the crowd, to the scene. You know what I mean? To us, it can be see, seen as overdoing it, but in that style of that environment, in that way of relating that kind of movement, that kind of story to be told, it's perfect. Perfect. We just eat it up. We exactly. love that stuff. I love it. Yeah, we love it. Everybody, it's just, it's just what we're supposed to. It's art. It's beautiful. It's art. So it's like your your samurai is there, but ours is like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like our samurai, like what you know? That's, that's hard. Ain't nobody got that. Nobody got that. I would I would buy it. I would I would purchase the thing.